another veteran entertainer, a fella you may not have heard of, Tommy Scott is his name, has like Archie been entertaining folks for over 50 years now. The other day he was in Nashville to be accorded an honor and Greg Crutcher was there. Tommy Scott is the last of the old time medicine men. Since 1936, he's traveled the back roads of America and Canada, playing an incredible 350 dates a year, breathing new life into a century-old entertainment tradition. Back at the turn of the century in the late 1800s, the only entertainment the small towns got was when the old-timey medicine show come to town once a year. They used to come into town and put on a free show, and then they would sell a bottle of medicine and all the hokum that went along with it. And uh, it, the medicine show's performance was a banjo picker, guitar player, a magician, a monkey on a chain, and this type of thing. Anything that the old docs could create attention with to get the crowd so he could pitch them a bottle of snake oil or hokum, and that would gather the crowd and then hold their attention and give them the entertainment. Then he'd jump on them and give them the pitch and sell. Try a bottle of the stuff today. Just take it as it's plainly directed. It'll drive your ears away. Little small dose taken in the morning and another noon at night. Why you feel so well, you'll want to yell. Oh, the stuff will make you right. The medicine Scott sells is plainly labeled snake oil. But surely there's no snake in it. <laughs> no, it don't have any snake in it, or it never has had. Now, the reason for the snake, the old doc, when he uh, started to try to think up a name for the stuff, you see, he got to thinking, he says, well, fire and a snake creates attention more than anything else. So he got the idea to put the snake on. But there's never been any snake in the modern snake oil, as I said. And now, of course, it's been updated, and it, it meets now, of course, all the pure food and drug regulations, so on. It's camphor, all of wintergreen, all of wormwood, oozes and barks and berries all mixed together, eight different ingredients, and it's a good, strong rub on external liniments, what it amounts to. Recently, Scott was inducted into Bill Monroe's Bluegrass Hall of Fame. Once known as Ramblin' Tommy Scott, he fronted a classic early 30s country string band and won the admiration of the father of bluegrass, Bill Monroe. Uh, I know him well. He's uh, been a good friend of mine down through the years, and uh, he, he was, a, was a fine singer, had a good voice. Scott says many of the fine voices of country music started out in medicine shows. Indeed, they play a vital role in the evolution of country music. Absolutely. Roy Acuff started out on a medicine show. And, uh, well, the Duke of Paducah was on a medicine show. Hank Williams was on a medicine show. Did you know that? Yeah, Hank was on a medicine show. Red Skelton was on a medicine show. Take a dose or two of the cure-all and your trouble got to go. That's a lie. And tell them you got it at the medicine show. Jake will. If ever there was a showman, it's Tommy Scott, last of the medicine men and a medicine man to the last.